The body of Nigeria's former Chief of General Staff, Lieutenant General Oladipo Dia, has been buried in his hometown, Odubulu, in Ogun State. President Bola Tinubu, who was represented at the event by Governor of Ogun State, Dapo Abiodun, described the deceased as a selfless and diligent leader whose contributions to nation building remains a reference point to coming generations. We have more in this report. It was a celebration of lives spent in service of humanity, nation building and defense of territorial integrity of a nation. Family members of Oladipo Dia were joined by friends and associates at the Cathedral Church of St. Paul Diocese of Odubulu, Ogun State. The man in whose honor we all gathered here today. In his sermon, the Bishop of Ijebu Diocese, Right Reverend Babatunde, Ogumbawu described the deceased as a lover of God who served God's purpose for his family, his work, and his country. In the history of our great country, Nigeria, as written so far, include many Nigerians who are passed And in this category of those who left their mark in the annals of the developmental political history, of Nigeria is the late Lieutenant General Oladipo Bodia GCO. President Bola Tanimbu, who was represented by the state governor, Dakwa Biodun, said, although the death of Oladipo Bodia was painful, but his impactful life and legacies were sufficient to console Nigerians. Why would you play mourn the passing of this great Nigerian? We must not fail to consciously celebrate the Nadia's standing committees of bravery discipline, courage, integrity, and patriotism. Others say the deceased was a bold and courageous military leader of great repute, disciplined and forthright. It will be greatly missed for what he stands for and what he believes in. And I want to say that from the testimony given thus far, also by the bishop of the cathedral, he shows he's a man who loves God. The humility, humility and also um, you know, service to the nation, and to the growth of the nation, are some of the things that I want, I will wish that um, those coming behind will take, will take from him. We do hope that God will comfort the family he has left behind, the government and the good people of Ogun State, particularly with the local government. Dignitaries at the event included the Acting Inspector General of Police, Kaode Ekbetokun, Ogun government functionaries, former military administrators, and captains of industries. The International Convention of the Ahmadiyya Muslims enters the second day. Faith inspiring speeches were delivered by various senior members of the community, with its roots traced back to as far back as 1889. The community is seeking to ignite the flame of peace and love that burns brightly within the hearts of millions around the world. Tiva Sudeus Ibrahim Shita reports. As the rays of the rising sun embrace the second day of Jalsa Salano, men, women, young and old are enjoying the presence of the leader of this community as well as the dignitaries present. Although the weather has been dribbling, members found cover under the marquees where many faith-inspiring speeches were delivered throughout the day by various senior members of the community. In a world yearning for harmony and compassion, world leaders advise the community to embrace the pillars of peace, love, and weaving together the tapestry of unity to sow the seeds of a better tomorrow. And I know the painful reality and challenges facing Ahmadi Muslims in Pakistan, and this is a cause that I am committed to representing and to fight for human rights around the world. As you come together for the Jalsa Salana, I know that prayer and quiet reflection will bring some respite and rejuvenation of spirit. You have all contributed so much, from delivering food, medicines, and extending the hand of friendship to all. Our people have suffered through genocide. They tried to murder us and take away our culture and take all of our land. And now we continue to rise and we continue to be resilient, but we do that through love. We do that through passing love down from one generation to the next. With the spirit of love for all, hatred for none. In the world with so much hate, 
the love you bring is a beacon of hope. I thank you to be the face of Islam, Rahmatan Lil Alamin. Islam as the blessings to the universe. I'm very impressed with the empowerment your community is uh, imparting to your youth. I would also like to commend your community's charitable and humanitarian efforts. For any guest like me who has not wet read World Crisis and Pathway to Peace by His Holiness, I strongly encourage you to do so. It thoroughly resonates with me, and in particular, the positive messages written to world leaders. Respect, tolerance, and peace. Love for all, hatred for none. This is one of the slogans of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat. Right here is one of the main marquee where the Ahmadiyya foremost leader and diplomats preach love, peace, brotherhood to the community and to the world. Ibrahim Shita, TVC News, Hampshire, United